Number one, you are a spirit, you have a soul, you live in a body. Number two, you cannot know any Christian after the flesh. Why? Because old things are passed away. They're dead and gone. Number three, everything in you is brand new. Every, number four, everything in you is of God. Settle that, all right? That's talking about in your spirit, not your head. You're still working on your head. Now, number five, God himself has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. You got that? Hath, past tense, done deal. Don't back off of that. Number six, God has adopted us and made us accepted. Number seven, God himself has abundantly given himself to us in wisdom and prudence, intellectual and moral insight and mental activity. Number eight, God has gathered us into one body so that we are legally afforded an inheritance with all the other saints. You realize you got the same inheritance that George Mueller has, the same inheritance Smith Wigglesworth has. Same, uh, uh, it's all the same, right? Number nine, we've been sealed with the Holy Spirit as promised, which is a down payment of our redemption until the full redemption is brought about. Number 10, God desires our spiritual eyes to be open and receive spiritual wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Christ so that we can know his calling and what he has given us in our inheritance as saints. Number 11, so that we can know the degree and amount of power he used to raise Jesus from the dead because that's the power he put at our disposal when Jesus was seated at his right hand and that everything that has a name must bow its knee to the name above all names and that we have the right to everything that name can do because we're in the family and that name is our name because we have his spirit and we are a habitation of God by his spirit. Number 12, his divine power hath already given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. He, number 13, he has given us exceeding great and precious promises that we can use to partake of his divine nature. Number 14, because his spirit is in our spirit, he will heal or make alive your mortal bodies by way of that same spirit. Number 15, because we have that spirit, we are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. What he has is ours. As he is, so are we in this world. Number 16, the whole earth is groaning, waiting for us to grow up and manifest as sons of God because when we grow up and manifest, the world will also be set free from corruption. Number 17, we are predestinated to grow up into the image of Christ. Number 18, when he gave us Christ, he also gave us everything else with Christ at the same time. Number 19, he gave us life in the spirit that can and should flood our flesh and soul. He gave us healing. He gave us freedom from darkness and from any and all ability of the enemy. He gave us every blessing. He gave us everything that pertains to life and godliness. He gave you his name above everything that has a name. He gave you his authority to forbid or permit whatever needs to be forbidden or permitted. He gave you his all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, how are we supposed to live? We're supposed to live free in Jesus Christ, free of sickness, free of disease, free of oppression from the devil in any form. That's what you have in Christ as you are right now, not something you have to attain. So what does that mean? How are we supposed to live? You're supposed to be blessed. You're supposed to live blessed and you're supposed to bless others. Amen. Amen. 